solve some of the complications we could have because of this intra-aortic balloon pump. We could have a aortic dissection. The balloon could be could be uh, filling improperly, maybe filling too much. Um, it could also burst. It could basically cause a aortic dissection, which is super scary. Person might have some very very severe aortic stenosis or just a very very weak um, the aortic a tissue vessel around it. Limb ischemia. So this balloon can can move. Um, it can cause limb ischemia if it goes too low. It can drop your your renal perfusion. If it goes too high, it can affect your perfusion to your brain. So you have to watch out because remember this is a line and our patients do move around. So just be careful where this is. If you see a decrease in your output, that's a sign to maybe get worried that, hey, maybe the balloon pump migrated a little bit lower and it's impeding the renal vessels. Or if your patient starts to get some neurological issues, um, maybe they're not remembering where they are, just some kind of change in their neural status, it could show that the balloon pump may be migrated too high and it's impeding that perfusion to the to the brain. It could cause renal failure, uh, same reason it can cause neurological complications, heparin induced thrombocytopenia. Usually we have these patients oftentimes on a heparin drip or oftentimes where this balloon is heparinized so it doesn't clot off, it could cause that. And just the fact that your body has a foreign object in it, it increases the likelihood of thrombocytopenia. It's with any kind of foreign device that you put in the body that's going to stay there for a long time, especially if it affects the heart. Research shows that for whatever reason, I'm sure I can look, look it up for you guys. I'm sorry that I didn't. But every time you introduce a foreign device in your body, your body likes to attack it. And oftentimes it, it leads to a thrombocytopenia. It can cause infection. Remember, this is sitting in your aorta. And if you place this in an unsterile fashion, it can cause an issue. If the dressing is bad, it can cause a an infection. So there's a lot of stuff that could go wrong. Lots of risk for infection here. The balloon could also rupture. It's got helium gas that I forgot to mention. So this is going to get filled up with air. This gets filled up with helium gas because worst case scenario, if this were to rupture, helium, helium gas doesn't affect the the blood the same way that the air does because if this was if this was air in here your patient would throw a clot there'll be like a air embolism and they could die but with it having helium your body is able to absorb that helium and it won't affect it as much as it would affect air because this is air that's why we would say you know make sure your, your lines don't have any air because you have an air embolism imagine if this this had air and this ruptured that instant that death right away pop and imagine that air keep getting pushed into death helium it metabolizes differently so your body has a different way of of biting to it binding to it and getting rid of it 